Apple Vision Pro's poor sales likely forced Meta to abandon work on its own high-end R headset, despite having a significantly lower target price. Meta had plans to introduce a premium mixed reality headset to the market, likely in response to take on the Apple Vision Pro. However, according to the latest report, the company's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, informed his employees to abandon all work done after a product review meeting. The chief executive was probably observing how well Apple's $3,499 R headset was performing in various regions, and seeing as how the device had yet to cross 100,000 shipments in the US, Zuckerberg may have envisioned that Meta's own offering would suffer the same fate. Meta's Apple Vision Pro competitor was supposed to feature a $1,000 target price, but the launch was slated for after a few years with development work abandoned, the information reports that Meta will proceed with its work on the Quest 4, which will serve as the direct successor to the Quest 3, as the company aims to strengthen its grip in the affordable mixed reality headset market. As for the Apple Vision Pro competitor, it was supposed to feature high resolution micro OLED panels, which is the same technology incorporated in the Cupertino firm's headset. While Meta reportedly intended to sell its head-mounted wearable for around $1,000, the insane cost of micro OLED panels would have forced the company to charge customers more. To remind you, the Apple Vision Pro is estimated to have cost $1,500 to make, with the two micro OLED panels alone reportedly stamped with a price of $456. The launch was slated to happen in 2027, but it looks like that is off the table. Even the MetaQuest Pro, which arrived to the market for $1,499, failed to garner the necessary reception, and as a result, consumers quickly forgot it. It is safe to assume that expensive R headsets have yet to find a foothold in the market, so Apple is said to be focusing on a low-cost version estimated to arrive sometime in 2025. Unfortunately, the company is struggling to get the price down without removing some critical features. TF International Securities analyst Ming Kai Kuo pointed out earlier that even if Apple managed to scale past the pricing problem, it did not negate the fact that it PR avides limited utility to the wearer, forcing them to return it after a few tries. The same funds can be invested in another product that provides them with more value, such as an iPhone or a MacBook. Meta likely recognized this consumer behavior and is focused on releasing mixed reality headsets that are less of a burden on an individual's finances. The company is also focusing on improving its software, and with the addition of programs, future releases can broaden consumer appeal.